Well, I just lost my job. <clears throat> All right, it's day two of technically being unemployed. It's been a very interesting and emotional 24 hours. What's really interesting is by the time you see this, life's gonna be completely different. It's also Maddie and I's wedding anniversary today, so that's quite funny as well. It is day five of Redundancy Diaries. At the moment, there's a few ideas floating on the table. It might be a new membership style app for creators. It's like, is this the pivotal thing where like this decision right now is what changes it all? In a few hours, Jacob is gonna be pitching sub to possibly get some funding. So fingers crossed it goes really well. What the heck just happened? Bruh. I just raised a quarter of a million US dollars. Holy moly, that's crazy heavy. You get so many treats now. What, what the heck? Oh, I think I'm shaking. Yeah. Also, this is something that I've been living by for the last month. Anytime you get like stressed or overwhelmed, this is just a side quest. Side quest just became the main quest. <laughs> Let's go. Done. Okay, so I've got some, I've got a big creator I've been working with and we've been integrating Discord for him and his sub that he wants to do, his paid community, which is cool. There's a couple of extra features I need to get sorted for him. But then we're gonna move on to the WhatsApp integration because I've got a few really big personalities in New York. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's a, there's a few big personalities in New York that want this specific functionality on the WhatsApp side yeah, and so I'm like if I can build that and I figured out the tech stack of how I can do it then that'll be really good. There's a lot of things to actually update you guys on as well, will come later but for now we're just gonna head into the office, we've got some planning to do just because everything is changing in the next six weeks but for the better, it's very exciting. We've also got our number one cameraman back, as you can see. <laughs> Ready to go. <coughs> so yeah, Jacob sucks at code is back, baby. A new subscriber for Jacob's Dev Club. If you're not already in the Dev Club, you're missing out. The door is locked for another 10 minutes. We got here way too early, look, 10 to eight. I do want to start the new WhatsApp integration. I think there's a way that we could do it that's like no one else is doing it. So yeah, I figured out that integration on the weekend. I want new creators like me to come in who are using the app. This is like the famous elevator. Yeah, famous, the famous elevator guys. This is the third person behind the scenes. All right, I, we might be first in the office. Pave might have beat us. So, I've been drafting this LinkedIn post for the past, <clears throat> I don't know, four days, which it pretty much sums up what has happened over the last two to three months. It's, yeah, it's fascinating. Uh, a lot has happened, and behind the scenes, we have like just mustered through, like building, coding, keeping our heads up, like going crazy, and just trying to make the most out of a situation. But yes, in a nutshell, the start of this year was wild. Um, by the time you see this video, it'll be out. So you guys can go check, I'll put a link down below. So you guys can check out the LinkedIn post. All right, we've got Maddie on the DMs. Maddie is a uh, full-time outreach now for sub. Let's go. <laughs> Hello. I had a meeting with one of these big creators that I'm onboarding last week. It was on Thursday or Friday. And there's just a couple of extra features that this guy wants. Um, one of them being, for example, he wants to be able to turn off the subscription option. So like, for example, if you want to keep the page live and active, but you want to be able to turn off the payments, so people can't actually check out with Apple Pay or anything, he wanted a way to do that. So that's the first thing. Just on that payment button, it'll just be disabled and it'll say like subscriptions are closed now or payments are closed. Oh, I don't know. I'll figure out some wording for it. That's the first thing. Maddie's doing a whole lot of outreach and DMs, getting it going. But yeah, Monday morning, we're starting off slow. It's about to get fast though. 
It's about to get crazy, and you guys will see in a second why. of as soon as I post this it's like all out there and it also acknowledges everything that happened over the past few months like it's not bad it's not yeah well like people will know what actually happened you know yeah which is freaky yeah and then all of a sudden it's like boom sub is live and like obviously sub is live right now it's just it's really live you know VCs are gonna see it other people that follow me on LinkedIn are gonna see it like Everyone's gonna see it, and I know this is just such a stupid thing to even think about, but it's like, everyone's gonna know why I moved to New York very clearly for a reason, and mm. why I've been not doing that. So it's True. just kind of freaky, that's all. So yeah, my post, ready to go. Hang on, let me, let me just double check the links are correct. It's posted. Ooh, that, that one line in it is wild. It's out, it's in the wild. Everyone go read it. <laughs> Pave's already got it up. <laughs> Meadows, baby. Very fast elevator. Post is blowing up. Appreciate all of you for checking it out. We're already at like 450 reactions on it. It's been like two hours. So yeah, it's blown up better than anything else in the past. But yeah, if you've been wondering what the heck's been going on for the past few months where I moved to New York for that startup and then all of a sudden I wasn't at it anymore, go read the post. That's why. Lunchtime, chicken on rice. Let's do it. New York, if you know, if you know, you know. But these guys here, consistent every day, $9, chicken over rice or falafel over rice. Absolutely the best food truck in New York, hands down. All right. Chicken over rice. <laughs> That's the good stuff. Unreal. Post is going absolutely ridiculous. We just hit 615 reactions. It's just going nuts, like comments through the roof, so many connections, it's cool. Nice little first post for sub. I guess what's next? So this guy who was like, everything looks great, looks perfect, but I just need the Telegram integration. That's another thing to work on. Telegram integration, WhatsApp integration, Slack integration, which are all in process. It's just Discord's ready to go right now. So, hey, maybe I should just open source it. Get all the devs in. They can submit their own pull requests for all the features they want. Absolutely deleted this. It's 7.11 a.m. The first thing Jacob did when he got up was start working on the couch. Yep. 
I gotta verify my Discord bot. Apparently there's a limit of a hundred servers that your bot can be in until you have to provide like all this KYC and then like give them a million pieces of documentation about why you're legit. <laughs> so yeah, I am doing that right now while people flood in. And I just opened up LinkedIn. Look at this. Look at these notifications. What does that say? 99 plus. What am I supposed to do with that? You've been busy. You've been busy this morning. You've been doing your emails. Bye, dogs. See ya, buggy. The aftermath. My DMs are just crazy. My calendar's booked today, which is fantastic, but I don't know how these influencers online or anything deal. I've got this OCD thing where I like all my notifications, all my emails, everything to be like open, red, tidy. I can't even do it. I spent like hours yesterday opening everything, getting it all like, oh, I was, I've been replying like nonstop for the past like 24 hours. It's been crazy. It's a really good, good result. Like heaps of new people on board. A lot of people want the new integrations coming up, which is sick. So yeah, I've got to really prioritize those. But we've got a lot of like 15 minute calls today with people who are like building communities who want that specific functionality. Just gonna focus on meetings today. I think this is what it feels like to be a founder properly. Meetings all day, every day. It does sort of feel like it's on the edge of tipping yeah. over, which is cool after like a lot of behind the scenes work. out there I know that we we started off as you know everything is dev stuff and it has always been dev stuff mostly and I know we're moving into this new like weird hybrid setting where I'm now like a founder and it's very like stressful overall because there's like so many different moving parts and such but I think it still comes back down to the core elements of what we talked about originally in the case of breaking it down into small pieces Maybe just getting the coffee cups going. Breaking it down into small pieces and then just like working slowly through it. And that's all I'm trying to do really in everything. Not just development but also like these meetings, figuring out how to write viral LinkedIn stuff. I got lucky on the first one. Yeah, I don't know. Yo! How's it going? as well that um, a have, using the personal one like being a face on like a personal page rather than having a company page could be like more engaging whatsapp's been like fully integrated and you're ready to push that out like very publicly yep. is that sort of post going on to a business page or is it going on to a personal page and where do you want yeah i mean i think in the end, if it's going on a business page but it doesn't get engagement because it's very businessy, then there's no point. So maybe we do grow a sub page but we try and make it as personal as possible. That's the marketing that works well with the YouTube, with the Instagram, it's like people are in your life, they're not in subs. They're not following subs business page and sub is posting, it's like this is Jacob building subs. So the thing we're trying to debate is whether I should leverage my personal Instagram for like sub content or not because obviously like a personal touch can be way more valuable than just like a standard business page that everyone does but then obviously with that pros and cons you're you're sacrificing your personal page so catch you later okay what a day full of meetings that was my first founder day where I'm actually just like doing calls, talking to people all day. I didn't write one line of code today. However, I did get an AWS notification that freaked me out. It was like, you've spent like 265% of your S3 usage. And I was like, oh my gosh, have I just been DDoSed? 
and it was like yeah you went from having like 267 requests on average per day to 46,000 and I was like oh my gosh but anyway it turns out it was just all the traffic from LinkedIn and people were going nuts so yeah people were loading a lot of images great day just to like hear more validation about what I'm building and over the next couple of weeks gonna be launching. So looks like priority right now is that WhatsApp integration, ensuring that people can monetize those WhatsApp groups. And I think that's just gonna be like super beneficial for so many people doing community. Now on a non-work front, I am exhausted, but I've been really, really wanting to get a run out in the next, well, if I can get a run this afternoon, that'd be awesome. So I'm gonna head home, say hi to Mads and Hermie, and then get my running shoes on, boom, let's go. Also, Hoka, Hoka, you need to give me a sponsorship. I love Hoka shoes, but I've run like 600 miles in my current one, so Hoka, hit me up.